Joining me now in studio, I have another member of the Progressive Caucus. I'd like to welcome the leader of the African Transformation Movement, Vuyo Sungula, Mr. Sungula. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us here in our makeshift studio right opposite City Hall. Thank you so much for having us. Right, let's get straight to it, Mr. Sungula. Today's press conference, I think it's dominated by one thing and one thing only, Pala Pala. I, heard, I had Carl Niehaus earlier on. You guys are pushing ahead for that motion to happen. Indeed, because the president has to account. Mm. It can't be that you are going to have a sitting president mm. being found by a former chief justice mm. that he may have violated the constitution and the country just moves on as if um, nothing is happening. Look, a sitting president has amasses so much power. He's got power to appoint judges, powers to suspend chapter 9 institutions. So we need to satisfy ourselves mm. as a country that that person never abuses his office for his own material benefit. So that is why he has to account for Palapala. Amongst other things that we as a progressive caucus, we are basically pushing. It is progressive ideas that will actually transform our country because we are 30 years into democracy, but the inequality levels has gone up um, we are, it is growing um, inequality, it is widening. You find that poverty is on the up, unemployment is on the up, crime is on the up. And then there is this uh, marriage of convenience, which is the GNU, mm -hmm. that is formed by political or policy oppo opposed parties, which are not going to deal with the fundamentals mm -hmm. of what is wrong with our country. What mm -hmm. is wrong in our country from the economic point of view is that our wealth is in the hands of few families. Mm -hmm. What is wrong when it comes to our legal system is that we're still using an imported legal system that does not reflect our mm. culture, our norms, um, and, and our values as Africans. So without addressing those key concerns, every sauna is basically like a whitewash. We're just playing because they deal with cosmetics. Mm. Whereas Tina is the ATM, we view that. Let us deal with the fundamentals that will actually transform our country. Mr. Zugula, let, let's touch on the GNU because, I mean, it's a bunch of parties where the policies are really and, and we need to call it for it is, it is completely different hmm. how does that occur because I, I want to touch on for example two issues land reform and the nhi but amongst other things i mean you've got parties there that really don't see eye to eye in terms of their policy when you listen to the manifesto their policy and the policy of the former ruling party the african national congress just does not see eye to eye how, how is this going to work? Because it's really going to be difficult. Yeah, look, I think what they're going to try and do is mm. to just keep things the same. Mm. But there is going to be more DA influence in terms of the policies. Mm. I'm sure you might have heard many ministers in the past um, budget debates, they kept talking about private-public partnerships, mm. Mm. which is something that is unheard of. You can't be government and you wanting to have private public partnerships as a government you should be boosting the capacity of the state to deliver services and actually um, you know fix our problems not have a case whereby you are inviting the private sector so the da is pro private sector that is why they are privatiz um, they are pri uh, privatizing most of our assets now what we're seeing in our country it is a marriage of convenience mm. that is not about the people, but rather it is about the elite. Mm. Remember the DA has been long making a noise to say they would rather go into bed with the ANC mm. in an effort to keep the, um, any possible um, working together of the ANC with progressive mm. movements such as your EFFs, MK parties and ATMs. Mm. And those parties, what we have in common is a fundamental transformation of our country. Mm. That is why we speak about land expropriation mm. without compensation. We speak about the ownership of the economy because the DA represent the people that are owning basically mm. the economy. Those funders, those companies, those wealthy families want everything to remain the same. Mm. So that is why the DA pushed to get there because mm. they want the country to basically remain the same. I got one final question, Mr. Zungula. Uh, are you confident in, in, in the numbers, in that potential impeachment vote? And when do you see that happening? There's many um, programs that we're doing, including taking the 
public public protector report to court mm. there's a constitutional court matter um in the next coming weeks in fact from august because mm. we are going on recess in the last week of july mm. so when we come back that is when parliament is going to fully operate mm. because now we're just dealing with the budget debates there's no time to process any other thing when it comes to the numbers remember that motion was sponsored by atm mm. which had only two seats sure. but it gathered more than 100 votes simply mm. because it was based on substance mm. so we believe that when we push the motion again based on the very same substance the number 102 mm. is going to increase to be more than the majority mm. so that mr ramaphosa is held accountable mr Zungula, thank you so much for joining us here at uh, our hilal tv uh, studios much appreciated all the best okay jazakala i mean i mean to my it's vuyo Sungula, the president of the african transformation movement